Today we're going to learn how to model angles. Before we can model angles, we need to know what an angle is. So go ahead and write this at the top of your page under your vocabulary. So an angle is a geometric shape formed when two rays have the same endpoint. While you're writing that down, I'm going to draw a little picture. So they have an end point. So I'll draw that point right there. And then two rays that have that same end point. So there's one ray, two rays. And this makes an angle. Once again, you have an end point right there, two rays, and the geometric shape that's formed is called an angle. To help us with angles, I'm going to draw three circles. And we can divide these into four parts. If I put an end point here in the middle, and then draw two rays, if I was to make a turn from one ray to another, how much of a turn would that be? How much of the circle have I gone around? Gone around one-fourth. So this would be a one-fourth turn. Later on, we're going to get into degrees. A circle has 360 degrees. And if we're dividing the circle into four, each part of the circle would have 90 degrees. So we won't need this today, but I just want you to know that for the future, one-fourth of a turn or one-fourth of a circle is 90 degrees. For the second circle, we're going to turn a little bit further. So there's our end point, one ray to the right, one ray to the left. You'll notice this basically makes a straight line. And if we start at one ray, go around to the other, we've gone through two-fourths of our circle, which we always want to put things in simplest form. So what is two-fourths in simplest form? One-half. So this is one-half of a turn. And if we had two sets of 90 degrees, that would equal 180 degrees. And the last angle we need to know for today's lesson is if we have our end point, one ray, we go all the way around to be a full turn. And the full circle is 360 degrees. Later on, we're not going to have these circles with our angles. We're just going to have these end points and rays. So they look a little bit more like this. When we have a 90 degree angle or a 1 4 turn, we generally make our angle here in the middle more of a square to show that it's 90 degrees. When we have our half turn, looks like that. And a full turn, it's going to look like that. It's important that we have this part that I put in green so we know which direction we're counting. So that's our full turn. Once again, this would be 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees. So here's our first example now that we know our vocabulary. So I want to draw an angle with a one-fourth turn. So if we divide this circle into four parts, this needs to fit on one of them. And we can draw this a lot of different ways. I'm going to draw it like this. So there's my end point, my two rays, and I'm measuring the angle inside those two rays. We want to make sure we don't think that we're measuring this angle on the outside which would be three-fourths of a turn. So it's really important that we put that part in green so that we know which angle we're measuring. We're measuring that one-fourth of a turn so that no one thinks that we're measuring that outside part, which would give us a different answer. Here's my second example. 
This time it, we want to draw an angle with less than one fourth a turn. Once again, we could get several different answers as long as this is less than one fourth of a turn. So, I divide this into fourths, and I can draw this anywhere as long as it's less than one of these. So, I'm going to draw mine here. Draw the green part there, so I know that we're counting in between these, and that is less than a fourth of a turn. Now it's time for you to try some. So I want you to draw an angle with exactly one half of a turn. Pause it if you need to, and then unpause it, and we'll check to see if yours looks similar to mine. Okay, so with a half of a turn, basically that will make a straight line with our two rays. And I could draw this any direction. I'm going to draw mine up and down. Draw the angle, although either way we went, it would be half of a turn. And we're done. Okay, here's the second one I want you to do with me. I want you to draw an angle with less than a one-half turn. Once again, pause, unpause when you've had it drawn so you can check to see how you did. Okay, so if I divide my circle in half, I just need an angle that's less than that. So, divided it in half, and I made it a tiny bit less than one half turn. So, one of the rays is on the dotted yellow line, and one is a little bit above the right side, which makes it less. So, as long as your angle is less than half, you did a good job. I think you're ready for four on your own, and we'll check them tomorrow when you get to class. So number one, draw an angle that is greater than one-fourth a turn. Number two, draw an angle that is less than one whole turn. Number three, draw an angle that is greater than one half of a turn. And last of all, if a clock said three o'clock, would the hands make one fourth of a turn, one half of a turn, or a full turn? Bring these four problems in your notes to class tomorrow, and have a wonderful day.